Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager and let's talk Permalink. So most of you guys already know what Permalink is and how they works. I'm going to give you a bit of context about Permalink and, and how we can modify them for WP Event Manager. So what Permalink is actually, let's go to our front end site and we will explain that in a short moment. Okay. So in the WordPress website, whatever we see, let's say a page, a post, they all are behind the scenes are virtual posts okay so if you don't understand what that is that means whatever the post or the pages are in a wordpress website they physically doesn't exist on your uh, desk or like in your file system they all are saved inside the database so they are uh, let's say virtual okay so if we go inside this blog post over here you will see we have a pattern over here that we call a permalink so the same uh, works with the pages as well. So this page over here calls events. It's a permalink for our page over here. That's how we identify the page and that, that's how like routing works. So in a traditional HTML website, we will have like events.html or let's say events.php navigate to this page. But this page doesn't actually exist. And what I mean by that, it doesn't exist on our file system. It exists on the database and WordPress handles all the uh, rendering and all uh, using this permalink identifier over here. So we already know how we can modify the permalinks for uh, this particular page or let's say any page. So we can uh, go to the edit page section and we will have the permalink section over here and the URL slug, if we change that, that will go ahead and change the uh, permalink over here. So that's the permalink for you. And if you notice correctly, if we load up one event, that our event has a permalink structure as well. So first we have event, then we have the event name and we give you the availability to modify that as well okay so how we can do that we're gonna go to settings then permalinks okay so in here you will be able to manage all the permalink settings for the entire wordpress website okay so this is the common settings so day and name so let's go back to our blog post and there so you see the permalink structure over here we have year then month then the date and then the actual uh, let, let's say post name okay so this is the permalink over here you see uh, the website the year the uh, month the date and the post name okay so under the common settings you have the permalink uh, section for the blog post and under the optional uh, like section we will find the wp event manager slug sections okay so category based tag based product category based so product category and product tag base uh, is woocommerce courtesy uh, product attribute base is woocommerce courtesy as well so this then we have event base then we have event category base then we have uh, the event type base so this category and tag are like the blog category and blog type uh, like taxonomies uh, we are going to focus on this uh, sections over here so by default our event base is event so that we show over here let's open up the uh, events page once again so then like we have the base website then event then our event name over here so that's we see over here as well then we have event category base so let's say the category okay so this is the event type let's open up in a new tab and this one as well so for event listing category uh, we have the event listing category then other and then event listing type then other okay so these are the uh, default permalink structure for our uh, wp event manager how you can modify them pretty easy all we have to do make sure you enter a word over here or like multiple words divided by uh, this hyphen or a underscore no blank spaces allowed make sure you do not include any blank spaces that can like cause some problem but not entirely break the site but it's better to not use blank spaces okay so let's say you are a yoga instructor and you don't like the event uh, pummeling type over here or like event type structure okay so let's say you want to uh, modify the uh, base name or the permalink structure over here to your website then classes then the actual event uh, name or the class name depending on your scenario okay so we can type in class over here and we're gonna hit save changes and we will need to go to our event section because we cannot fill that page and i'm gonna close these uh, tabs over here for now and we're gonna reload this page once again then we're gonna click on this page and look closely 
the event tag over here is gone but instead we have the class tag or the permalink structure so since we change the event base over here now it shows up as class we can change it to whatever we like okay whatever actually so you can like configure these three options over here that's uh, all the event permalink we use in the website uh, related to wp event manager you can modify them to your uh, desire and except nothing to break but work flawlessly so that's a neat and clean customization tip for you if you like this video leave a like if you found this this video subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comment what you would like to see in this channel uh, in future we will try to make that happen until next time i'm shada saying goodbye thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one